Hello everybody. I wasn't going to film but I decided to and I'm going to make something with ground beef almost like a stew style so I decided to make the video instead. So in this pot I have a natto oil prepared oil which I prepare it here in this jar. I prepare um, I grab the seeds which are in this pot. I put some oil, well lard, and let it boil for two minutes and until it comes out red, red color. And that is what is inside this pot, which is prepared an auto oil. And I have red peppers, plus I have green peppers in there and also some garlic. Now I'm adding a pinch of cumin and some dried basil, which I grow in my own garden. Okay, so now I'm going to stir fry this up until it's very well caramelized. Uh, stir it uh, often so it doesn't uh, burn up or stick. On medium low heat, it will just fry up very nicely. Okay, so this is ready. Now we're going to add the ground beef. Salt to taste. Cover it and let it sweat and it will make its own juices. It gives it more flavor. Okay, so we're going to blend some peppers and first I'm going to add is the red peppers. Some cilantro. I'm just adding a little bit, but you are your own boss of your kitchen, so you can add as much as you wish of any of the ingredients. I usually add tomatoes, but I'm out of tomatoes. We'll do without it. Add green peppers. Add one cup of water and blend it all up. Okay, done. This will go on the meat. Okay, so you can see all the sweat there, so let's uncover it and let the water drip inside and stir. Okay, so you can see a little bit of water in there already, but I want more. I'm going to cover it back. Okay, so I'm going to check this again and see how much more. See, there's a quite a bit of liquid there. I'm going to drip more inside of that from the lid. So let's stir it up. I usually add a lot of red peppers to make it nice and red, but I have to deal with what I have in the fridge. So my liquid is kind of greenish. That's life. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. So I deal with what I have in the fridge. And there's days I use zucchini and there's days I use radish. And since they're drying out, I'm going to use them. A couple days ago, I already washed these so they're ready. I cut the bad parts, everything, so it's ready. So all I'm going to do is just cut them in half. The big ones, I'll cut them in four. Okay, so it's all done. So we just stir it up. And uh, also, you taste it if it's enough salt. I already have the practice i already know how much salt is needed so i don't need to be tasting it i'm adding one more cup of water and give it a, a stir you can stir it, cook it just like that simple without adding anything else but i like to add something extra to thicken it up which i will be using sanctum gum and this will help it thicken uh the liquid a little bit i'm not going to be using too much because a little goes a long way which I will be using only a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm going to stir it and then uh, cover back, let it boil for 10 minutes and be back. Okay, this has been boiling for 10 minutes. Okay, time to add the xanthan gum. Okay, so I'm using a tablespoon, which is only half of the tablespoon I'm using, one teaspoon. I don't want it too thick because I'm not making uh, spaghetti. Usually I use a full tablespoon for spaghetti when I want it thick. A little goes a long way. It will thicken. Trust me. I will let it boil for seven minutes 
and that is it as simple as that if you have fresh basil it will give it a fantastic taste that's how easy it is a simple easy meal and very quick to prepare this meal I made for my family, which some are not on keto, they're gonna eat it with rice, but I do have my son that is on keto, he's gonna eat it just like that. But I am on carnivore, which I've been already in carnivore for a couple of weeks and I'm late uploading this video, so this is not what I'm going to eat. Do you see how thick this has gotten? I mean, just with a teaspoon, it just got thick. Well, I'm going to let this boil for five, to seven more minutes and then serve okay my friends so here is the results i hope you try it out it's so easy and simple to make and so delicious as well if you try it out let me know comment below if you're new subscribe don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and share 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 the video thumbs up don't forget to comment and hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.